Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be unboxing my MacBook Air. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jasmine. And also if you're new, don't forget to subscribe below. And if you're not new, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to leave a comment. All right, let's get into it. So this is the MacBook Air. I got it in the gold. It's eight gigabytes of memory and it is 512 gigabytes of storage space. Um, so before I get into unboxing this, first off, let me tell you, Apple customer service was A1. Um, I called the I called in because you know with the pandemic, you can't even go into the stores without an appointment, honestly. Some stores you can't go in at all. So um when I called, I wasn't expecting to get the customer service that I got. Not saying that Apple has bad customer service. But when I called in, um, I was talking to the lady and telling her, like, I wanted to trade in my MacBook Pro to um, buy a new Mac. I wanted to buy a new MacBook Pro. So I was looking to buy another MacBook Pro. She was like, well, let me see if you have a store near you that you can go into and talk to one of the representatives. And I'm like, okay. So while... While she's doing that, she was like, I mean, honestly, if there's any questions that you have, I can answer them. And I'm like, okay, well, I wanted to trade in my MacBook Pro. She said, okay. Now, I want to tell you guys that if you guys are looking to trade in any type, anything, they're not accepting them in stores. You have to um, mail them out to Apple, which Apple will mail you out your product and then they'll send you a box a couple days later after you get your product so that you can send back the um the trade in. I didn't trade my MacBook. I ended up not trading my MacBook Pro in because they were only going to give me $260. For that, I can keep it for other stuff. And the only reason why I need a new laptop is because I've had this since like 2015, I believe, and it's starting to show that I've had it since 2015. My storage is running out, and you can buy um things to um to connect to your computer so you don't have to buy a new computer just for the storage but um it was also starting to slow down because i don't have that much memory on there and i don't have that much storage um, the reason why i only got the 512 gigabytes of storage is because i have an iphone and my iphone has a lot of storage on it i don't remember how much but I have a lot of storage on my phone and I edit a lot just off of my phone so when I was talking to the lady I was explaining to her what I was using the computer for and she was ex and I told her that I just want to edit videos for YouTube and that I am I'm in school it, um she said so what what editing app do you use to um, edit your videos. I said, I just use iMovie. I'm new to YouTube, so I'm not big on like the different editing tools or websites or whatever that you can use. So I'm comfortable with iMovie for right now. So that's all I'm really using. So I just want to want you to keep that in mind if you are trying to edit videos that I specifically told her just iMovies. Once again, you can call in yourself and talk to a representative and hopefully they're as friendly as she was and as helpful. She said, well, why do you want the MacBook Pro? And I heard that MacBook Pros are better for editing. So that's why I wanted the MacBook Pro. But what she ended up telling me was that Apple makes their own processors now. So the processors are basically the same in the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. She said, well, you know, but as technology goes on and, you know, advances and stuff, it probably won't be the same thing. She said, but for right now, they're the same processors. And I'm like, okay. She went ahead and gave me like the education discount, which I think is like a hundred dollars off. So with the education discount, the MacBook Air start off at $899, I believe. But I went, um, I ended up getting the one a step above because it had more storage on there. Um, you can get the one TV. I was gonna get that, but like I said, my phone holds a lot of storage and I edit a lot off of my phone. So they're just, I mean, I guess there was a point to, I mean, it could have been a good reason to get the one to, but I just wanna use what I have. I didn't wanna, you know. So mine's ended up being 
I think around fourteen, almost fifteen hundred dollars. But the Apple Care ended up being almost fifteen hundred dollars. So, okay, guys, let's get into what you guys came for. Here's the MacBook. I got it in gold, and once again, it's eight gigabytes with five hundred and twelve um, gigabytes of storage. Oh, and another thing, guys, um, I got it same day delivery, which was only $9 extra, which is nothing compared to a lot of like same day deliveries. And I ordered my MacBook at 12 p.m. And it was literally, they were knocking at my door at 1244. Like, I was so surprised. Like, I'm like, okay. But they are like only like five or 10 minutes away from my house. So that might have been a reason. But they definitely delivered. So pretty, guys. So here's the laptop. It looks rose gold. But, I mean, it says that it's gold. But I knew it was going to look rose gold. It's so thin compared to my MacBook Pro. I love it. It's not as heavy. Yes. So there's that. Here's the charger. Um, I'm not really like tech savvy. I'm not going to even front. I'm not tech savvy at all, but I heard that the chargers are faster. And I know with my iPhone 12 Pro Max, that the charger is fast so i'm sure this is probably fast too and of course you get your like little booklets and your little stickers i got rose gold because that's the color of my computer and this is what the box just looks like and that's the charging piece and that came in. Okay, guys. Let's get into it. Let's go ahead and take this paper off. I'm definitely going to have to get a cover. Because I did not think I was going to get this today. At all. Shipping was so fast, like I said. You guys just don't know how excited I am and it's such a pretty color this is the color that I'm doing my room stay tuned so because I will be doing a video on that here's my MacBook Pro to use English as the main language press the return key Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and set it up and I'll be back to kind of show you like the differences in the two. Okay, you can see how thick this is my MacBook Pro. And you can see how thick it is. And then here's the MacBook Air. The keypad is definitely bigger than the um, older version, but you have to understand that this is the older version um, of the MacBook Pro anyways. But yeah, I'm sure on the MacBook Pro, the newer ones, it's probably the same size, if not bigger than this one. But this is definitely bigger than my early 2015 one. Um, MacBook Pro um, you can definitely see the difference with the size like how thick this one is and how thin this one is I'm excited about that 
Um, this also has the touch ID button, which I'm so, don't look at my nails guys, they're disgusting, trifling. Anyway, um, I'm also excited about the touch ID button that they have. I really like that and I hope they bring that back to the actual iPhones because I really do miss that feature. I don't like that face recognition thing. I just don't like it. But the keys are different too. Like these are like a little bit like, like they have like a harder click to them than the new, than the older versions of the MacBooks. Um, but yeah, guys, I can't wait to, you know, get started playing around with this and doing some editing going the actual computer. I have ran out of so much space on this. I couldn't even download a video to edit on here. So I was doing everything from my phone, but now I'll be able to add music to my videos with this and everything because I have enough storage to download my um, videos onto here. But yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.